Welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. We're glad you're with us on this Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. It's been a good one. Absolutely. And Neil Denton brightening it up just a bit more. We appreciate you coming on. Put it there. Good to see handshake. you. Good to see you. That's how we greet folks around That's here. Right. But we're talking about <laughs> um, something you've been hearing a whole lot about. Holes in the yard and a weedy grass that's showing up in lawns. Yeah, holes in the yard can be caused by a number of things. Skunks can make them when they're feeding. <coughs> we can have voles, we can have also insects when they come out of the ground. But typically people are seeing chipmunk or vole holes this time of year. What we're size not talking are about voles, we're talking about voles. Voles, yes, and they, they make a hole about the size of a silver dollar or a little bigger. Yeah and they'll usually be concentrated around an area where you have plantings of uh, particularly like uh, shrubbery that, mm. that they feed on the roots of. And the other thing you will often see is a, a trail that leads between these holes on the surface. If you pull the grass back close to them, you'll see little almost like tunnels right under yeah. the canopy of the grass. So what do you do about this? Well, using snap traps like you use for mice in the house. You're taking them out. You, you you're put gonna cheese have in them? To, you can put apple slices in them. Oh. Apple slices is what they like. <clears throat> it's the best thing. The other good thing to do is to pull mulch away from the stem of the plant. Uh, if you have fruit trees that they're attacking, you can put down a lot of uh, pea gravel around the base of them and they don't like to dig or eat in that. Okay, good information. And the the grass is called rough stalk bluegrass and it's the grass that's popping up above your other grass about six or eight uh. inches in light green color. Typically people see it this time of year. It's, it's very active in the spring and in the fall. It is a perennial grass which makes it extraordinarily hard to deal with from a herbicide standpoint. Yeah. The best advice I can give you is when you see it, get out there with something and dig it up and get rid of it because okay. it produces lots of seed. But if you don't deal with it, you're gonna have more and more, then you're gonna come into where you just have to kill the whole area and reseed. Oh gosh, okay. So. All right. 